All right, here we go. So this is actually my second attempt to do this recording. The first time I did it, there was a dishwasher running. There's some folks moving next door. So really, <laughs> this I can't guarantee you nice sound. But I will share one lesson, which is that if you're recording, do not set the output audio um, for your computer to a noise-canceling headphone. That, that works well when you're just in, um, I guess, any other scenario. But what will happen is it'll cancel out the noise that are in the background going into your own input. So you're never going to be able to tell. Um, so what I do now is I just plug my headphone into my Yeti microphone. And then, you know, it's a monitor, basically. So you can I can actually hear the other sounds as well as my own voice. Um, most people know this, but I'm just sharing it anyways. Uh, all right, so what are we actually talking about today? So today I wanted to share some sort of process with you all and in and, and the spirit of learning in public. Uh, I'm planning to go through some tweaks. You know, I tweak my website quite a bit, and I know a lot of my peers and, and folks follow me and stuff. They have their own website, and, you know, there's a lot of lessons I think we can all learn from each other. So uh, I'm going to try and kind of go through and critique my website and as it stands a little bit. Some of this is based on feedback I've received from others, which I'm really appreciative of. And some of it is just stuff that I wanted to do. So I'll start off and, you know, in, in an effort to obviously try and be positive uh, for myself too, not just be self-critical about everything is I do feel pretty good about my site. I like it. Um, you know, I've gotten good feedback. It's been like featured in some courses, you know, so a lot of folks like it. It's some of the pros about it are that it's pretty, this front page uh, to start with, for example, um, it's pretty short. You can kind of come in and, you know, scroll to the bottom, scroll back up. That, By the way, that's that's something, um, you know, David Perel talks about this, but like most people they will come to a website, they'll just like look at it and then just scroll to the bottom and then scroll back up. So they just kind of get a sense of like, okay, what is it? And only then do they really start like reading stuff. So you want that to be a pretty short process for them. You don't want them to feel overwhelmed. So on that note, I think some of these sections uh, I feel pretty good about. Like, okay, I'm calling out my best essays. Maybe there's like one too many here though. It's kind of a lot. Um, you know, this is good. I feel good about this. I probably could expand this to be include my animations and make it a little bit more playful. Um, I feel like for someone like me who does a lot of illustration and animation, like, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but you know, I'm playing around with it. You know, maybe maybe you could come here, bring a little life into the site. That's another thing. Um, you know, there's this piece here, which kind of gives you a quick summary of my background. To be honest, I feel like I put this more here because I thought I was supposed to like, yeah, I've, I've founded startups. Like you should probably know that. Yeah, one of them acquired like, but, I really mostly just want you to look at my writing, to be honest. Like I kind of want you to look at my writing, see my drawings. So uh, I do have a work page. So if you click that, you get like a sort of a summary of my work background and stuff. And, and you know, I think that probably is better to just to move stuff, everything over there. Um, and actually I used to have that be linked up here at the top, but then, um, I kind of wanted to reduce this. Now, this menu is the topic of our question for today. So I didn't talk about this, but the format of this that I'm thinking is, uh, I'm actually gonna share this in a tweet, this video, and then I'm gonna reply to the tweet with like other updates that I wanna do. And each time, I kind of wanna ask a question too, because a lot of times there's stuff that I think is kind of kind of contested. So I have a secret question awaiting for you. But um, let's keep going. So that's something to reevaluate here. I think this section, I do kind of like want you to know that I'm like a transit nerd and, and all this stuff, but I feel like if you look at my essays, you'll know I wrote one about it. If you look at, um, you know, you should somewhere in my intro, it should probably say like, by the way, I've DJed and you can click on that. I feel like this is a lot. And, and so I feel like probably what's gonna happen is people are gonna come here, they're gonna scroll down, scroll down, and they're like, okay, this is like a lot to read. You know, I got that feedback. Someone. Just like, it's just like a lot, you know? So I think it would be good. I would rather have someone just come in, not know everything about me, but maybe read one essay, right? And that's from that's my goal. So like, 
you kind of want to ask yourself like what's the one thing you would want them to do and just make it really easy for them to do that and like don't distract them too much so um so yeah so so this is kind of a first pass um this round of updates so first um oh yeah i sort of emphasize the polymath thing um you know that's a big part of sort of who i am and i want to link to that essay and uh, i also linked some of these like writer links to blog um, Illustrator links to my website and DJ links to uh, my SoundCloud. And I reduced the essay length by one <laughs> um, and just did this thing where I just sort of sort them by length of post. So it's kind of, I don't know. Um, I moved drawing up because I just think that's a really important part. And I want you to know, like, I write and I draw. Like, if, if that's all you want to know about me, that that's probably good. I would be happy with that. Um, to be honest, I actually want to make this its own page. So I actually have this uh, list um, of stuff, as you can see here, stuff for my start page, stuff, I want to add an art page, I want to add a newsletter landing page. So right now, if you click on newsletter, it takes you to Substack. Um, I want that to be a page here, where basically I, I pick like the best ones or something and let you subscribe from here, which you can do, but you know, I, I kind of, I think the more I can have it here, so same thing with art, instead of going straight to Instagram, you know, maybe I can have like a gallery page, show some animations, and then yeah, you can still follow me on Instagram if you want, but I think it'll be good for more of my content to actually be on my site. Um, you know, make make it make it more like valuable to like hang around at the site. Um, yeah, and so I moved down, you know, read, read some books, um, put Twitter here kind of a little bit more explicitly just because I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Like I want to meet friends. I want people to say hi. This links to DMing me. Um, and you might notice I just tossed all of that. So I didn't completely delete all of it. I basically deleted this also thing. I feel like you can learn more about me by following my work and reaching out. Um, this stuff I've done, I moved into the work page, which is now linked um, directly here. So you, so you get kind of a work summary here and then, yeah, you can always, you know, they're speaking and whatever, all that stuff. So um, the other thing I did, which, which was kind of just like a technicality, sort of somewhat confusing was my, this front page was actually at slash about, and then my blog is actually at just sort of the root URL, which is kind of weird. I think that was just like an artifact of how I built the site at the time, but um, as a result, like if you clicked on an essay, it'll be like slash posts slash whatever. Um, but there's no actually just slash posts. The, the blog URL is just this root URL. So I, I think I got some feel that was kind of weird. So I, I fixed that. So I think, yeah, you should be able to just go to someone.io and it should take you to the about page. So this is the, um, in the updated one, by the way, this local host thing just means it's like I'm running it locally. So I build my site in something called Hugo. So all the pages are written in Markdown. I might share something about that later. Actually, if you think that's interesting and you want to learn more about that, reply, um, and maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, yeah, now the blog is slash blog, and each URL is slash blog. Now this, I'm a little scared to deploy, even though I've been very careful, because I had to make sure existing links were preserved for slash posts. So I do that with like a redirect, so it's all good. But you know, there were a lot of links shared, especially for this essay, so I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but anyway, I, I think, you know, this seems like a small technicality, but I would highly recommend like, go and like figure out all these like sort of little quirks like now, because like I just said, like once, once people are like linking around your site and stuff, it's kind of scary to like change up the links. So, um, you know, I would, I would suggest just try and be aggressive and just make sure you're really happy with sort of the navigation paradigm and all that kind of stuff. Obviously you can always change it. I'm not saying you can't change it. I'm just saying it's easier when uh, early on. So yeah, so that's it uh, uh, for today. So what I'm gonna be sharing next is I'm gonna build a newsletter landing page. That's what I wanna build next. And then I also wanna build an art page. And like I showed you, there's, there's a list of stuff that I can go through. But that brings us to today's question. Um, well, firstly, I would just say, you know, feel free to reply with your own site and like some of the things you're thinking about changing and share yours. I'd love to just kind of start a conversation around our sites. Like just, you know, we're all kind of learning the same things, you know? So let's just, 
let's just share. Um, but one thing is like with this menu, so I kind of had this like, have this like allergic reaction to those hamburger menus. Um, you know, the little three dot lines that hide everything and then you're just supposed to know that there's this little three thing there and just click it and that's how you see all these sections. So I kind of prefer the idea of showing all of them, but for example, if I look at this in, um, in mobile, um, which by the way, I highly recommend you do all the time. You know, it, it kind of jumps to the next line there and I guess it looks kind of okay. I don't really like how it looks, but I would rather you just know all the links here. So today's question is, do you prefer hamburgers <laughs> or just seeing all the links like that? Um, you know, I, I kind of think I want to add more pages up there. I just want, you know, so that the start page can be simpler and, and kind of keep more pages linked there. But I'm kind of curious about this. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope, hope this was useful and uh, I plan to kind of share more uh, as I update some of the other pieces. The other thing I'll note is I've been using this new app called Mm-hmm, which just came out. Um, I'm actually not really using it to its full potential here. I've just been using it for small things like how I'm able to switch between these slides. Like, like you can treat like this image that I took or the screen share as like a slide and I can just like see how quickly I can move. It's pretty awesome. Um, but there's actually a lot more to it that I'm curious to um, play with. So yeah, anyway, um, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. And yeah, talk to you more soon.